गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन योर ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल लर्निंग विद राजेश इन दिस टॉपिक और इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द लास्ट वन टॉपिक सब टॉपिक ऑफ द लेसन लेसन नंबर टू ऑफ जियोग्राफी इन टेंथ क्लास इन टेंथ क्लास जियोग्राफी वी हैव स्टार्टिड लेसन नंबर टू फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो रिलेटेड टू दिस लेसन and in the previous videos i think you got all the points easily today we are going to read about the community the help of community in protecting the forest so how the community protected the forest with their efforts now the first point is forest are the habitat of community in 8th class you learned that uh, that adivasis uh, live in the forest so some of the community live in the forest so they save the forest for their habitat second point people save forest for environmental purpose you know that community also save the forest for environmental balance and the third point so this is the basic point of the lesson that in near uh, sariska tiger reserve in rajasthan people protested mining so they protested the mining by saying that the government made the wildlife protection act 1972 and now so the government is starting mining so it is not in favor of the wildlife resources so stop mining for the protection of wildlife resources you know that the third point is very important and you got easily the fourth point in alwar district of rajasthan people made their own sanctuary their own sanctuary without the help of government so they made this sanctuary for the protection of wildlife i think you got the fourth point easily the fifth point they made their own rules in this area in this area means the in this sanctuary area their own rules are made by the people so it means you got all the four five points related to the community how the community saved the forest and wildlife so next point of the today's video is culture and forest conservation how are culture culture save the forest or means the conserve the forest so now we are going to read it from the first point people worship nature from ancient time you know that our culture is related to save the forest and wildlife from the ancient time the next point in bihar people worship mango tree and tamarind tree at the time of wedding so this this is their culture it means the culture also save the forest and wildlife in india the third point is people worship tulsi and banyan trees in india for their religious purpose and this religious purpose means that this culture also save the forest and trees and the next point in bisnoi community save the black bug for this re their religious purpose it means their religious purpose also save the forest and wildlife in the next one we can see people offering food to monkeys near temple so this uh, we can also see the people offering food to the monkeys nearby the temple this is also our culture it means this culture also save the forest and wildlife i think you got the point easily so now the objective type question for you where is sariska tiger reserve located in which state i think you know the answer very well it is located in rajasthan so next point other efforts for conservation of forest so you know the chipko movement in himachal pradesh also played an important role for conserving the forest you know that the people cling to the forest or means trees for saving them when the government or mean the community were cutting the forest and they cling to the that forest so first of them cut them and then the trees it means this also movement stop the or means conserve the forest next point jo joint forest management this is very important topic of the lesson sub topic of the lesson joint forest management so first one thing is uh, 
what is the joint forest management it was started in odisha in 1988 in this management people protect the forest on their own basis so the second point of the lesson of the sub topic is it was started in odisha in 1988 and in joint forest management community people save the forest on their own basis and third point is they refuse the government aid on uh, they refuse the government aid it means they were not taking seeking the help of government in joint forest management and fourth point they get non commercial wood for protecting the forest it means while they pro protect the forest and they also get non commercial wood in favor of this point and the next point at last we can say that we should we should involve this jfm in other states also we should involve this jfm in other states also i think you got the point easily now there is question for you uh, write a note on joint forest management and in cbsc there will be question in the exam joint forest management played an important role in saving the forest and wildlife so i please explain the statement and you can say that in joint forest management it was started in odisha firstly in 1988 in this management people save the forest on their own basis they do not get the government aid and they get non commercial wood from in favor of this purpose or means for saving the forest and in last we can say that joint forest management can be started in other states for biodiversity for saving the biodiversity i think you got the point easily today we have discussed only four or five points and this is the end of lesson you know i think you got all the points of the lesson easily now there is worksheet for you in worksheet first question is what is biodiversity and what are the benefits of biodiversity second question how can we say that india is rich in flora and fauna and third point indian biodiversity in danger explain the statement and next point distinguish between vulnerable and endangered species you know i think you have answer or means you can answer this question easily next question do you agree with the statement that development plans are responsible for the depletion of forests if yes give argument in favor of your answer i think you enjoyed the session if you enjoyed the session please subscribe like and share also thank you and have a nice evening